today we are going to seriously level up your R&B melodies. This is part one of my R&B masterclass. We're gonna go over what VSTs you should be using, chord progressions, counter melodies, and all that good stuff. All right, so the first thing for R&B beats is like the BPM. I typically like to keep my R&B beats between the upper 80s to like about like 120, but I'll even sometimes do like more upbeat R&B beats that would be like all the way up to like 140 BPM. Next we have VSTs. So the first VST I like the most is the Arturia Collection, which is Arturia's collection of just a bunch of kind of classic analog synths. Analog Labs is really good as well. And then I would say Omnisphere is pretty good when it loads, there we go. Tons of different sounds in here, which is kind of annoying to kind of like sort through them all, but there's a lot of good sounds in there. Next one I really like is Keyscape. This is the best BST in my opinion for just pianos and keys just in general. Now, if you want like a cheaper alternative, I have two one-shot kits. One DaVinci, which I've used in like almost all of my past 30 videos or so. I've used it instead of using any of these VSTs. And then also today I just dropped my new analog bank slash one shot kit, which I'll show you guys in a little bit, which also has a ton of really good sounds for R&B beats. Now in terms of like free sounds, you can use flex. There's some decent sounds in here as well. And if you learn how to kind of work with these knobs and stuff like that, you can really get some cool sounds. Next we have Labs by Spitfire Audio. This one is a really good one for getting like string sounds, piano sounds, etc. I think they have some good pads in here as well. And the sound I'm using, the Golden Owl from my analog bank. Converted all of these sounds that are actually in this pack into one shots as well. So you can buy the kits and you'll get these sounds as one shots as well as these sounds as analog bank. First chord progression I'm gonna talk to you guys about is called the two, five, one chord progression. And this is probably the most popular one you're gonna see in R&B beats. In every scale, each note kind of has a numbering. So let's do C major, which is just all the white keys. So right here, this C would be the one, then the D would be the two, E would be the three, F would be the four, G would be the five. So now let's just break them apart and actually build the chord progression. Two is the D right here. So that's gonna be our first chord. Then our second chord is going to be the five, which is this G right here. And we still have to build the chords, but we'll do that in a second. And then the last chord is going to be the one, which is C. Let's make this last one a bit of a longer chord right here. So first thing we're gonna do is just move everything up seven, and then we can just build our chords from here. In a two, five, one chord progression, it's gonna go minor, major, major. And then since it's an R&B beat, I like to make the chords a bit bigger. So we're just gonna add a note right here, right here, and then another one over here. And these are all notes that are in the scale. Bottom notes, drag them down an octave. And then to make it sound a little bit better, I'm gonna transpose a few notes. I'm just gonna grab these two right here, bring those down. And it's just gonna sound better as the notes are closer together. R to randomize, and then Alt S to strum. If you just played this chord progression, you don't have to do this. Move it up a couple semitones. Personally, I don't like love this chord progression. It's just the most common one. So I'm gonna show you guys another one that I like. And you don't need to know a thousand chord progressions. If you just have like three or four R&B chord progressions, you can make really good songs with that. So you start here at A and just go down four. One, two, three, four. Then go down one right here. And then just go down two. Then again, you're gonna pull this up seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put that right there. This is just gonna be a minor. It's gonna be a major. For RB beats, you wanna use like bigger chords, so like seventh or ninth chords. Basically, you just add an additional note over top. And I'm just gonna randomize these velocities, take these root notes right here, drop it down an octave. I like to do this. Usually, you're gonna end up cutting it out when you cut out some of the lower ends, but it also just helps you remember where the root note is because what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna invert this note right here just so everything's a little bit closer together. We're just gonna make it sound nice.
scrub a dub a dub a doo baby <laughs> yeah <laughs> r&b dylan let's get it like lining up notes together like if you look at a lot of these notes they all line up pretty well that's a good way to tell if something's going to sound good the time of this video i have a r&b chord pack it's only like five dollars and you get a good amount of chords Another thing that I like to do with R&B beats is layer the sounds. And this is important because it's gonna allow you to create variation in your beats. So what I'll typically do is, is once I have like a nice chord progression down, I'll just copy it over into another sound and I'll try to find a sound that's slightly different than the other sound that I was using, just so it like sits well and they mix well together. Then I'll start adding like a counter melody. So let's just go through here. Again, this is my new one-shot kit slash analog bank. Black light. Ooh. Yeah, mom. What? No, I'm just kidding. I'm not talking to mom. So now we're talking counter melodies and be very careful with these as if you do too much, then you're going to totally throw an artist off. When it comes to actually selecting the notes, I'll usually just go with notes that are already in the chord and then just go with notes that are in the scale when I want to add some tension. So like something like that would be fine. Really simple, but it adds a little bit of a nice variation to the beat. Let's do a little bit of mixing. All I really need to do is I want to cut out some of this low end. The same as well for over here. a lot cleaner of a mix right now and right here for this one i just cut out some of the highs and this is a great thing that you can do for r&b type beats you really don't want tons of high frequencies i don't know how to explain it but if you listen to r&b music you know what i'm saying which i'm assuming you do i don't think you're just like oh i, I don't i have no idea what r&b is but i decided i wanted to do this master class i'm assuming you know Effects you could use for something like this is like something like rc20 which will just make things sound more vintage let's test that out on here I think these sounds are fine though. I kind of designed them so you wouldn't have to add a bunch of effects, especially because a lot of people don't have a lot of these expensive effects. Nice crunchy sound. I like this VHS setting. For a second I thought I did press record. <laughs> That's a cool one. Final. Just turn, make sure to turn down the noise or else you're going to get like a really loud static sound in the background. Another one you can use, and let's try that for this one, is something like halftime. I don't think it'll sound that good with this, but let's find out. And this can really kind of just change the vibe of something. So if you do have something that has like higher frequencies, but you're like, ah, I think this might sound good, this is a good way to kind of find out, aside from just cutting out the highs. That sounds pretty nice. Some other ones you can use is like Shaper Box is a good one. And then I'm, I'm sure you got some free ones in a second as well, because I know not everyone has these. Shaper Box has a lot of cool settings. I'm using the time setting right here, which just kind of plays with the timing, obviously. <laughs> and you can get a bunch of like cool different effects by doing this. A good free plugin you can use is something like Reverb 2. This sound already has a lot of reverb on it though, so I don't know how good it's going to sound, but. I usually really like using this Cathedral preset. Another good free plugin is like Flanger. Sort through a bunch of the different presets. Another good one is something like Fruity Phaser. I like this preset a lot. Fruity Love Filter, if you go in and you go and use the simple low pass triangle filter and then just turn the volume down a little bit in the resonance. Basically, that's just like cutting out like the high end and stuff like that and kind of like morphing the sound. 
Next thing I'm going to use is a bass line from my analog bank. And you just want a full kind of deep sounding bass line as well. And you have a few options with your bass line. Usually I'll just go follow the root notes. Sounds fire. One thing you can do though is have your bass lines not extend all the way. Kind of adds like a nice little bounce to your beats. I think for this beat it sounds better when they're extended. Another thing you can do is if you want to add a little bit of kind of like rhythm to your bass lines is look at, at like other notes that are in the chord that your brute note's playing on and you can kind of just move stuff around. It sounds good sometimes, sometimes it just doesn't fit the beat. So let's hear how it sounds right here. So maybe not right at both, maybe something like this. I think it just sounds better like this. Next, I usually like to go into arcade and just add some additional sounds. So my favorite lines are Honey is really good. It's literally specifically made for R&B beats. Next, I really like Distant Voices. This is great for just vocals that really sit in the background. Another good one is Vintage Synths. It's kind of hit or miss in this line, but there's definitely a lot of really good sounds you can use. The last one I like to use is Hooked. This is just like a vocal sample library and it has a lot of really cool vocals. You just kind of have to be careful with them as they can kind of take away from your beat if you overdo it. This beat though, I'm gonna use this distant voice preset right here. So you could do something like as simple as this. And honestly, I probably don't even need that last note right here. So let's just take it out. Also subscribe because part two, I'm gonna cover things like arrangement, drum sounds you should be using, where to place your drums, and I'll show you guys how to make cool breakdowns for R&B beats as well.